Hi, this is Graham here. I just wanted to make this video as a response to the sadness of the death of Caroline Flack, who was very sad to hear about. Now, I just wanted to give a little hope to the family, the friends, and anybody who's saddened by any person who dies unexpectedly or, or circumstances we do not wish people to go through. Now, I come from the Judeo-Christian faith, Christianity. Now, I, I have to explain first the, the, a little bit of the, the, what Jews believed or still believe. For Jews, they believed when a person died, they went to a place called Sheol. You can look around on the web to get an understanding of this place. Now, they were there was no a understanding or awareness of a place called heaven. There was no separation between believers a, or people who lost their faith, or who, who lost their Jewish faith. They all went to Sheol. Now, after a, a length of time, another Jew appeared. His name was Jesus. We know him as Jesus Christ. And Christ means the Anointed One. Now, Christ had followers. Peter was one of them. Now, after the resurrection of Jesus, they were commanded to preach to the whole world of uh, God's kingdom. Now, we have letters in the New Testament uh, explaining how a Christian should behave and explained how Christianity started. Now, this little excerpt from Peter gave me hope and I wanted to share it with you because I want you to picture Caroline in this situation or indeed any person that has died that you know of who did not know God they rejected the word of God like for example Ricky Gervais he rejects the word of God as being true. Now, here it's taken from 2 Peter chapter 3. Okay? For Christ also suffered once for sins, the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit in which he went and proclaimed to the spirits in prison, because they formerly did not obey when God's patience waited in the days of Noah, while the ark was being prepared, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were brought safely through water. So, the, the spirits in prison are the people that died in the time of Noah who were wiped out. Now this reads that Jesus is preaching to them so that they will know God. So God's love, even while he destroyed them physically, the spiritual side of them has been unclaimed. There is hope. Now. This is a sad thing I have to say. If Caroline Flack did not accept God, 
or did not accept Jesus Christ, then according to the Bible, they are being held in prison as spirits, but given the opportunity to get to know God. His love, love never runs dry. Now, the question you might be asking is, what happens when, when are they released from prison, if they are? Well, this is the thing about Jesus. Jesus Christ promised that he would return like a thief in the night. And when, and when he returns, the dead will rise and the world will be renewed. Now, for the, for the people that believe in Jesus, they go to heaven. And when Jesus returns back to earth, the people in heaven come back to earth and they live like the angels in heaven that do not sin. That's basically it. Now, that gives me comfort, and I'm sure it would give you comfort knowing that. But what I would like to add further is you can pray for Caroline, I think. I mean, what, what, uh, what's that play? The importance of being earnest. I mean, I think you would be earnest in prayer if you prayed that Caroline would come to know God whilst being a prisoner in, in the Sheol. She would, she would accept Christ whereby when Christ returns to earth out of Sheol, she would the, the, she would rise as a prisoner and she would be embraced in the kingdom of heaven. Now, isn't that great news? I mean, there is hope in that. You just have to believe it. And I hope you believe it. Anyway, that's it.